Hello, this is Beanie here. I've just completed a trade on Aussie dollar, just close it. And I wanted to do this video because a lot of people told me that they have problems shorting with the trend because they see that price kept going lower and they dare not short it. But we know that trading with the trend is necessary. I just want to do this video to show you how I, you know, short with the trend. It's not difficult, it's simple. You just have to draw in one line and it's useful for people who are busy and yet you still want to day trade to get some income. Follow this method, I'm sure you find that it's going to make a huge change to your profitability. This is a chart on Aussie dollar and it has been moving down trend very strongly. But the problem is that when you are trying to formulate a short, you dare not short it. Why is that so? Perhaps you think that price is very low already because you think that price has been traveling from this high all the way down and this is a low point here. Okay, this is a low. And and when it comes to this place, you dare not short it because you say, hey, look, I should have done the sell here, but why am I doing it here at the low point? So this is what your brain is probably going to tell you, right? And when you look at that, you say, okay, I should follow the trend. That's one side. But then the other side, they say, okay, I dare not do it because why? It is very low already. Okay, you know that trading with the trend is very important, but at one side, you didn't dare to do it. So this is where we need to draw one line to help us, you know, cushion our brain. And that's really very important. And what's the line you need to draw? Now, what I always do is I start in the day chart. That means whether I'm trading into Forex or gold or oil or commodity, I will always draw my support and resistance zone in the day chart. Okay, so I'm going to just shift back a little bit. That means you shift your chart back a little bit to take a little bit more and to see in terms of the historical price level. You realize that somewhere around this place here, there was a turning point and you are able to draw in a low point here. That means you are probably able to draw in some low here. And if you just extrapolate, you find that price had already broken this low point here. And then at the point that I've taken the shot, which is somewhere around here, is a retracement. That means that price moves up near to that low point and I actually activate the shot. Okay, so you have to condition your brain, right? to say that I can continue to short when it's at the low. How do you condition that? Because our brain will see this as a low point and probably it will start at one at the low point here and then high will be 100, right? So then you are able to short when it's at 100 or maybe when it's at 90 or 80 or 70. But when it comes near to one, you dare not short it because it's at the low. But have you ever wondered why price get lower? Price gets lower because then it is very weak. Right. The fact that it can get lower means that it's very weak and you are just going to short it when price moved up slightly after it had gotten very weak. So the fact that it is at 1 means that it is very weak already because then it is not at 50, it is not at 70. The fact that it can go near that previous low and it can go below that previous low man means that it is very weak okay so we just have to condition our brain right how to condition our brain we have to say that okay this is not one okay so these could be 10 right? and then 10 moved up to 100 so yes it makes sense for you to short here or here but when it breaks below 10 all right, your brain will say okay there's still a chance for it to go to one so you change that point for you to short because it's no longer right now at 1, it's at 10. So your brain said, okay, if it goes below 10, which was the low point, at least price have a chance to move to 1. So you'd be willing to go short because when price moved back to 10 again, which was at the high, you have a space for you to go short. Your brain will be totally acceptable for you to take this action. Okay. So let's try to do these steps again to do a bit of a rewiring in terms of a previous trade. Okay, so what I like to do, again, I said, right, switch that into a day chart. And then if you want help, right, to find that turning point, you switch it into a line chart. So this is where I have a line chart here. And you're able to draw in a previous low. So this was that previous low point here. All right, you draw that in. And then same thing, you cushion your brain, right? So if that previous low, it moves up to the high, so you can just write down some numbers to help you, such as, for example, you write this as uh, 50. Okay, so this is 50. And then this is 100, right? So if you short here, short here, your brain is totally acceptable. But 
your brain, you have to just convince your brain, right? And say, hey, look, price right now is below 50. Okay, it, it had been stopping at 50 as a support, right? It had been stop, stopping at there. But right now, it's at 50. And not only at 50, it broke that 50 region. So if it broke that 50, means that it has a chance to go to 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay, so you convince your brain that you can short right now. Okay, but you want to wait for price to move up near to that 50 level because then you are shorting at a high. Okay, because then 50 had been broken, it probably moved back to 50 and you're yeah, probably shorting at the high. So write down some numbers to help you. For example, if this is 50, then the low point here could be 40. Okay, so price moved from 50 to 40. So that's equal to bearish, or equal to a weakness. And then when price moves up again to that 50 level, you go short. And you say, okay, from 50, it can go to 40, it can go to 30, it can go to 20 and 10. So you are able to rewire your brain. Now you realize that this works very well because then just in the short span of, you know, movement of Aussie dollar, I can find so many examples for you, right? Such as, for example, let me just switch that into a line chart again. I realized that this was also a low point here, right? So I'm just going to draw in a horizontal line like this. Okay, and of course, I'm just going to rewire my mind, tell myself that, okay, it can has a chance to come down, but I need to wait for it to break first. Okay, so what can be done? So same thing, you know that this was a low point and let's attach a number here, right? So let's say that this is a weird number like 10 and then 10 moves up to 20 and then previously it was supported at 10, but we know that from 20 it moved all the way down lower and it traded below 10. So because this place here was 10, right? So this one is like maybe an 8. So if this is an 8 here, then you, your mind will know that, okay, it's 8 means that it has a chance to go to 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or even 0, or maybe that you want to try the negative numbers, which is fine. Okay, then when it moves up to 10 again, you'll be able to take that shot. And then when it moves down, let's say to 1, and you say, okay, I close it. You attach some arbitrary number here. Okay, so likewise for right now, then I'll be looking at again a shot in Aussie, but I want to wait for this zone to break. So I want to wait for this zone to break first and it's not breaking yet because this was a historical low, but I will not attach a low value. Okay, I would not attach a low value. That means my value will not be one or will not be zero. It doesn't start with zero because it's very hard for us to think that it can go below zero, right? So that's how trading is, okay? So I'm just going to attach another value here. Let's say, for example, I'm just going to put it like at 10, okay? So this is 10 and then this is probably 20. I'm just waiting for price to close below 10, which is not doing so right now. I just wait for it to close below 10. And if it does, then I know that you can have a chance to go to 9, 8, 7, 6, and even lower. I hope that you find that this tutorial is useful for you because this is really how I condition my mind every time to take a trade. And, and very important is that actually we don't need to change our trading methodology. Certain things can be rewired to improve our performance. And this is why I hope to share with you. And I've been trading for a long, long time already. And I like to share all those things that you can't find in textbook. And I hope that you enjoy that. And if you want to follow me, remember to scan this QR code where I update very often in the Telegram group. And likewise, you can just join my Alien Wash course because it comes with a 100% cashback just click on this link here and lastly appreciate if you can just click the like or the subscribe button so that whenever i launch new videos then you'll be updated immediately and thanks for watching